Hey, what's going on? But when it comes to duplicate the shape of a fruit into a dessert, and in the end, you don't even know which one is real. This is the alchemy of baking. Welcome to the Real Deal Cooking Channel. First, you want to take some time making this exceptional poached Meyer lemons. Cut each lemon into 8 wedges. Trim off tops, saving two thirds of the flesh attached to the skin. Remove and discard any excess membranes and seeds. To remove the bitterness of the lemons, you want to blend them three times by covering them with cold water. Bring to a boil, drain and repeat twice. Next, I'm going to push my blanched lemon wedges in syrup for about 5 hours on very low heat under the boiling point, just about 195 degrees Fahrenheit, 85 to 90 degrees Celsius. Then drain lemons, cook syrup to 113 degrees Fahrenheit, cool down and pour over the poached lemons cover and refrigerate for months. These poached Meyer lemons are a delicacy and can be used in many desserts, sorbet and ice cream. Let's dice up some for our upcoming lemon marmalade inserts. For the lemon jelly, heat up the freshly squeezed lemon juice. Sprinkle the sugar and agar agar mixture, whisking constantly. Bring to a boil and cook for 2 minutes and chill completely to set. Meanwhile, I'm going to slice off some lemon suprême, which means you want to keep the flesh only, chop roughly and set aside. For the suprême, I'm still using my awesome and freshly picked Mayo lemons, but you can use other kinds. And by the way, have you heard about these? Finger lime, lemon caviar, citron caviar. These little things originated from Australia, but they are actually grown in California. And you cut them crosswise, not lengthwise, and you extract all of this little caviar. It's like thousands of microscopic lime drops popping in your mouth. It's crazy! It's like a fireworks. <laughs> To bring this marmalade up to the next level, I'm gonna add some chopped mint. Then I'm going to smooth out my chilled lemon jelly and combine my poached lemons, finger lime, lemon suprême, and the mint. Look at this luscious combination of texture and flavor, one of a kind. Then I'm gonna scoop out and fill the mini demisphere silicone mold and freeze completely. Then I'm going to unmold them and seal them by two, forming one ounce, 30 gram inserts, and keep frozen. Next, I'm going to make the yuzu mousse or yuzu ganache monté. Boil half of the heavy cream, add white chocolate, the softened gelatin, and blend. Then add the remaining but chilled heavy cream, blend again, add the yuzu juice, and give a good emulsion, the last one, and refrigerate for 12 hours. Next, I'm going to whip my yuzu ganache that we've made yesterday. As soon as it reaches soft peaks, I'm gonna fill halfway through each cavity of my first bottom half of my lemon silicone mold, like so. Then carefully place a frozen lemon marmalade insert. Then close off on all sides with the lemon shape mold top. Insert the tip of the pastry bag inside the little aperture and rotate the tray while filling up each cavity to ensure that there will be no gaps left around the lemon marmalade insert and the seam. A little bit technical, but doable. You want to freeze these bad boys for at least 12 hours or up 
two, three months. Next, I am going to unmold my hard frozen yuzu mousse and see what it looks like. Flip silicone mold top side down, unmold the lemons and scrape off any excess mousse that may come out from the seam. Smooth out quickly with the palm of your hands and freeze immediately in order to stabilize my finished lemon shape desserts. I am going to make coins out of marzipan. Next, glazing. For the white chocolate coating glaze, melt cocoa butter completely, then add white chocolate and blend. Add yellow powder food coloring and blend well, and pass through a sieve lined with cheesecloth. Ready for the fun? Let's do it! First, insert a bamboo skewer in the frozen cake and dip into a 77 degrees Fahrenheit, 25 degrees Celsius white chocolate coating glaze. Pull and rotate it in order to spread the glaze evenly and set faster. It takes a few seconds, then remove bamboo skewer and place on top of the marzipan coin. We've just got the outer shell done. What follows is an advanced technique to resemble citrus skin. Watch, immediately I am air spraying with the same white chocolate coating to create a velvet finish. And next, I'm gonna air spraying hot neutral glaze or apricot glaze on the velveted lemons. This technique smooth out the just created velvet effect, resembling now to citrus skin. Quite stunning, isn't it? Not finished yet. For the last touch up, I'm gonna spray gold, an amazing citrus skin pigmentation enhancer trick. To get even closer to the craziness of this dessert, what about sticking in a real lemon stem? Soyons fou. This recipe, by the way, is inspired by Cédric Grollet, a very talented pastry chef from Paris. Fair enough, this dessert is meant to be made in a professional environment. I'm not saying it's easy, but at least you've got all of the secrets, tips and more. To get the full recipe, by the way, go to brunoskitchen.net. Please subscribe, like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter, Instagram and Pinterest. See you next time.